Hi guys, this is our very last day on Loch Earn. We're heading to the Shannon Earn Waterway. That's all coming up. So guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm Harry. And I'm Marion. We're on a boat, Driftwood. And what this channel is all about is cruising the Irish waterways to help you experience it, show you a few places that maybe you'd like to go to sometime and just maybe pick up a few pointers. It's kind of sad because this is our very last day on Loch Erne. Yeah. We've been here for seven months. We've had the boat up on Loch Erne. Since the start of the season, it's now the end of the season and we're heading back down to the river Shannon. So today we'll see us off the lake completely. Completely, yeah. yeah. It has to say, looking back here, it has been a fabulous, fabulous yeah, it's summer. It's Weather-wise, it oh, has yeah. been unbelievable. It's 2018, it is the best summer that we've had in. This is 76, I think they said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was really, really, really super. And the we people up here assure me that it is like that on Loch Erne all the time. So we left our mooring at eight o'clock this morning and it is now quarter past 10. Yeah, we've got a long journey ahead of us today because we, eight we, were, hours. In, we were in Balnalak, which was about an hour south of Enniskillen. That's where we'd, we'd left the boat and we headed out. Eight o'clock this morning we left and uh, we've been going ever since and we're not going to stop we expect it's going to be mid-afternoon before we get to our destination and our destination is Ballinamore yeah we have five locks but it's not too bad because they're the car locks Do you know what else we've got we've got lake because we're on Loch Erne right. we've got the Can river I which is What's it called? The Woodford. The Woodford River. So we've got yeah. lake, river, and we've also got canal. So we're going to do all three types of waterways in one day. That's that's good. On, on the chart, it, says, it gives you an idea how far your journey is going to be, and it says eight hours. So we're kind of looking upon that as a target to beat. So one of the things I've done is I've dropped down the mast there. You can see it's the mast actually hinges. And she's a heavy, heavy thing to drop down. But uh, we have to get under a few bridges. We had to pass under the Lady Craig Avon Bridge. We needed to drop it for that anyway. And we have a few bridges on the canal. In fact, we'll be going under the lowest bridge on the canal at Valley Connell. So guys, just look at the differences between Loch Erne and the River Shannon. And they are two very, very different waterways. First of all, we, as we, we mentioned already, the, there's no locks on Loch Erne, with the exception of Portora Lock, which is almost never used anyway. So you can just sail through there. That means you can navigate pretty much 24 hours a day. The other big difference I'd notice is that up here, they put moorings in the middle of nowhere. Oh, beautiful. That's, yeah, very, nice. they're really peaceful. Yeah. You don't find unattended boats at them because they're on islands. And if you want to go somewhere nice and quiet, peaceful and secluded, they are fantastic we don't really have them on the Shannon we in the Shannon we just put moorings in locations in towns and uh, yeah, well they I could found, do so much I mean yeah. they could put so many on Loch Ree and so many yeah. beautiful spots Loch Derg and anywhere along the Shannon you can have moorings in the middle of nowhere and I think that is oh, but it was lovely, lovely because we got to meet an awful lot of people on those moorings because when you go yes. up there's yeah. nothing you get off your boat you go for a walk around the island yeah. and then you come back to your boat have a barbie that's it. Somebody will come over and chat to you. You're going to have somebody else. You might have yeah. a drink with them, a yeah. cup of tea or a glass of wine or whatever. Yeah. And you get to know people and meet people that way. Yeah. Here's my thing. If you're going boat on Loch Erne, make sure you bring a, a packet of that powdered milk or yeah. maybe UHT milk or something like that because you don't want to run out of milk and it can happen. Yeah, so And easy, if yeah. you run out of milk, <laughs> oh, I mean, come we'd on. be dead. <laughs> oh, we will be found dead on an island somewhere with no milk died of lack of tea. So guys, this is Crom Castle, just peeping out at you there through the trees. And this is going to be our last glimpse of Crom Castle for a while. And of course Crom Castle looks out onto this small folly on an island and it's another very distinctive landmark spot on Loch Erne. You might be able to, to see Crom behind us there guys. And uh, yeah, I have to say it, it yeah. is, I'm going, I am going to miss Loch Erne. We've had a super duper season here. Yeah, oh, We, we have, really yeah. have, the, the weather's been fantastic. We've got to see just about everywhere we wanted to get to see, didn't we? 
Yep, I think we got to see everything. I think we did. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been nice. It's been a good experience. Yeah. And um, Sad now, because kind of when we yeah. get down to Balnamore, the, the boat's going to be there for a couple of weeks because we have to go off and do other stuff and um, yeah. work and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a bit of a useless this work thing, but it's yeah. People think we people think we live on the boat. We don't live on a boat. We we do <laughs> live in our house, we do work and we come to our boat at weekends, vlog our heart and souls out and and try and get try and get a vlog out to you every week or every every two weeks sometimes. So, and I actually work until ha until ten o'clock, maybe half ten before I get out on a Friday night. Yeah. And Harry will pick me up and we'll drive to wherever the boat is, wherever we have left it the week before. Not normally arriving at around midnight, <laughs> or after midnight as was the case last night but now from here on because we're going back down towards the Shannon it won't take us that long no to get it'll there. be cl closer to our house yes yeah, so, so. That, that'll make a bit of a difference so guys we're just literally edging up now towards the, I suppose well the border between North Ireland and, and the Republic as well so we're heading home yeah so we're heading home so here we go yep cheers want to miss it we're gonna miss it. So then basically from here guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend a bit of time on the, the Shannon and Waterway. Um, we're gonna keep the boat in Valley Connell for a few weeks. Balnamore for a few weeks. There's a private marina there and that's where we're going to store it. We'll also need to get a lift out. We need to get the boat lifted out. I need to change the anodes underneath it. I wanna treat the hull and make sure everything is, is good. And we don't know whether we'll get that done in Balnamore or whether we'll get it done in Lanesborough. Um, in Lanesborough. Lanesborough will be closer to our house, so that's kind of my preference at the moment. And, uh, we're then, in a bit of a dilemma now whether we're going to get to Athlone this year or not. Yeah, yeah. Because normally we would keep the boat in Athlone for the, the winter time, and it's oh. we just we still use the boat all through the winter, but it's just a good central location. It's a nice spot. Athlone is a town that has everything. And then we're hoping our plans for the for our new for our next year will be to head all the way down the Shannon down to the very south. We're going to race down along the river, and we want to go into Limerick. And there is a river festival on in Limerick in May. I think it's the May Bank Holiday weekend. That's normally the first Monday in May, and we'd like to get there for that. That means going down through the massive dam at Ardnach, Russia. This is it's a 100 foot drop in the in, in the lock chamber there. It's actually it's two chambers. It takes it down, 40 foot in one of them and 60 foot in the other one. And I think that is either the largest or the second largest drop in a lock anywhere in Europe. There are thereabouts. If you know different, let us know in the oh, comments below. Here we are, guys. Just heading off Lock Earn. It's our last few meters of Lock Earn, and up ahead of us there is the Woodford River. So we're going from lake here and into river and then from the river we'll go to canal so there we have the the mast folded down to help us get under the bridges and that's the last sight of Loch Erne for a while through two locks so far and we were rising up in both of them we're just coming up to the third one and now it's starting to kind of spit rain you know, kind of a rain when it's not raining properly it's just kind of spitting down but it's threatening to to downpour on us and I'll tell you what time is it now it's two o'clock 
we're on the go since eight o'clock this morning and with the exception of a few minutes we, we actually with the tow a boat along the he, his steering had gone so with the exception of about ten minutes we spent hooking him up onto the back and other than that we haven't really stopped so uh, and as I say that only held us up probably ten minutes that's all so kind of tired it's not like us to do a big long journey like this we'd always be the ones to say it's not about getting from A to B it's about the journey in between and take your time doing it but it's just circumstances being what they are we need to get the boat to Ballyconnell and uh, we kind of find ourselves against the clock to get it done So guys, one more lap. One more lap to go. It is now ten past four, and we're on the oh. move since eight o'clock. Yeah, that's tired. So not like us. Uh, no. It's just circumstances being what they are. We have to get the boat up to Ballyconnell. Well, no more. Sorry, not Ballyconnell. And, uh, yeah. It's a hard old day. It's not easy. This boat and stuff. 